Moving along with Freemasonry. So we're going to understand who Freemasons are. Life Magazine, you can see Freemasons in the form of a pyramid. U.S. Masons, and this is uh, 1956. Let's, uh, end all, uh, let's end all of the discontent elect a Mason president. I'll tell you one thing. If the first president of the United States was a Freemason, think about it. How many other Freemasons were there uh, in this country? And these are just a uh, to name a few, I believe all of them were Freemasons. And so I'll show you more than just one uh, the people that are, are here. So you can uh, see all the Freemasons. I'll go through this quickly. Here's Ben Franklin, Harry Truman, Gerald Ford, Washington. You can hear, see here John Wayne. As a Shriner, this is um, a head of the the uh, FBI. Uh, oh gosh, there was a movie recently about him, uh, Harry Truman, and uh, I forget him. All walks of life being represented. Ronald Reagan is a 33rd degree honorary, and there you see Harry Truman and his regalia. You can see the gavel being used, and that's used in in with judges. Moving on, Scottish Rite Magazine, formerly known as the New Age Magazine. And you can see actors, Kramer, Buzz Aldrin, and co commemoration, uh, Freemasonic commemorations. They lie, and they're meant to lie. They're meant to swear to secrecy. And so whatever they do, you cannot trust, completely not trust, actors, it's their initiates, their children get into those uh, get into those walks of life. Here's royalty. You can see here this is King George. Look at how nicely fashioned that uh, apron is. But I'm telling you, how can you dress up like that and still be sane? Here we have Prince Hall Lodge. Now this is interracial. All races are involved. Uh, and so you see now Jesse Jackson, 33rd degree. This is Dubois here. You can see here he's actually doing a Masonic pose. That actually Pledge of Allegiance is a Masonic pose. So you put the hand over the heart and they do this in the lodge and it stems from Freemasonry. So you can understand that in this country that's what goes on. Here's uh, Nat King Cole, Richard Pryor. All walks of life. Look at their uh, Bishop Tutu. And you have here, uh, oh gosh, I forget that, trumpet player, Henry Kissinger. Now, looking at this, uh, Shaquille O'Neal, he is now entered. Uh, he was on a uh, sports channel actually showing off his Masonic ring. Poor guy. Now he's into Freemasonry. Uh, Scotty Pippen, you see here. Barack Obama inaugural ball. Now he's been invited by Masons. This is a Newsweek magazine, September 2008. I believe it's September 2008. You can look that up. Um, memo to Senator Obama. He's now uh, here with the uh, presidential seal, adjusting that. This ring is here and showing that ring close up. That is the compass and the square and quintessential colors of Freemasonry as well, blue and gold. Bill Clinton, given my affinity for Catholic, Catholics, it's ironic that besides music, my major extra, extracurricular interest from ninth grade on was the Order of De Molay, a boys' organization sponsored by the Masons. So if you're in De Molay, you're going to go into uh, being a Mason. And so we can't see all who enter uh, into secret society. We just have to get clues. And here's uh, Barack Obama, very proud to... Uh, show this square and compass of Freemasonry. Let's move on. Isaac Newton, the alchemy of science and mysticism and the use of the square and the compass. Mozart, complete Masonic music. Now, I'm living in Hawaii now, and this is King David Kalakawa, and he is a Shriner Freemason. You can see Islam here. Talk about selling your people out to uh, this uh, religion. And there's a statue of him on Kalakaua, 
avenue with the square and compass at the base of that statue. Uh, also, his, this portrait is at the U.S. Uh, Lodge in Washington, D.C. Now, just to show you that Freemasonry is interracial and global, and this is a, an example. There was an article uh, done to show you that all walks of life, all religions, this is what they want to do is bring all of this stuff uh, together in a one world um, uh, and understanding that. This is Egypt, India, India, Brazil. It is a global organization. Moving along, Japan. And they uh, have been there since the mid 1700s, uh, perhaps even early 1700s. You have now the square and the compass uh, in this shot. Surprising, yes. And look at the square uh, checkerboard pattern. And these are, look, samurais uh, with a uh, Western man in that case indoctrinating the entire population. And so you can see here he is doing the hidden hand. And this. Uh, a magazine. My wife, uh, when I first started researching this in my testimony, I was researching this and going, hey, you know, it's a global thing. Let's check it out. And she actually did this research for me uh, to find out that, that this is what's going on globally. And so we have Chinese. Uh, this is Mao with Dubois here. Famous Freemasons education is the whole system of human training with uh, within and without the school's uh, house walls, which molds and uh, develops men. So Brother Dubois. And so here he is with Mao. Uh, I have come to find out that all of the revolutions are perpetrated by Freemasonry uh, s at, since at least the French Revolution. And so we have Chinese Freemasons here. You can see them. It's global. So what you think is opposition and communism is, in fact, behind closed doors, they are shaking hands. They are simply experiments, government and social experiments um, with a one-world agenda uh, agenda that they have in the end. Here's Marilyn Manson, that Satanist, and of course he wears two types of rings here. It is the pentagram and the square and compass. I always like this one, Marilyn Mason. You can read all about who's famous in this book, 10,000 Famous Freemasons. There is De Molay, the supposed Knights Templar that was persecuted by the church. Um, I've come to find out that that persecution by the church, what they like to do is they separate themselves from the organization. They work like the mafia. They can take anybody out that they raise up. So they can give you a country, give you a uh, uh, an organization, and guess what? They'll take you down for it. And that's how the system works in this realm. So I want you to understand uh, uh, that Knights Templar, uh, and you'll understand that in, in religion, uh, was a schism. And what they do is they separate the organization uh, so that you think that they're in opposition.